I guess I could have started up here, couldn't I? So welcome to Leslie Ray's Crafty Gig. Tonight I am working on doing some Christmas projects, holiday projects. I have a, um, a challenge going on over on my blog. And part of the challenge is to hand make all of our Christmas gifts. And some of you um, have, are aware of what I do. I work during the day, have limited income, have two kids, family of four all together. And last year, I decided that I wanted to give the gift of time to all of my friends and family. And so everything for me was handmade. And everybody loved it. And I loved doing it because I gave them my time, my energy, and that's invaluable. During the day, Vicki, my real job, yes, Sandy, I'm recording. My real job is I'm a travel agent and I get to send people all over the world and it's a lot of fun. Um, but I also get to be very creative in my job. I have an amazing boss and, um, she, she likes me for me. She likes that I'm, um, crafty and artsy and, and she likes that I'm a people person and it's just wonderful. I, I enjoy my job very much and I, I would love to send everybody all over the world. Send me to your house. I could do that, Sandy. I really could. And you could come play with my toys and touch my stamps and, and even bury the ones that I've cut if you want to. I don't care. Um, but anyway, so that is, you know, I, I'm back in the same situation again. Um, one of the things I like to do is prepare for Christmas starting in August. And that seemed like the appropriate time to have this challenge start. And so the thing of the challenge is, is you create an item for Christmas to give as a gift or Hanukkah or whatever your, your thing is. Um, and take a picture of it. If you don't have a blog, if you don't have a Facebook, um, if you don't have a Twitter, go get a photo bucket account or even just email it to me and I will figure a way to get it up there where people can see it. And all you have to do is, you know, take your picture, link it, and the links are just going to be a name. It'll say your name. Like if Sin, you just sign up and you put something in as a gift, it'll say Sin or Sin Gaijin or however you want it to say. And then that link will take you to that picture. And so the other thing is, is you're going to get traffic on your blogs or on your Facebook or, or wherever. Uh, I think if I, if I get stuff that people don't have a Facebook or they don't have a blog or whatever, I think I will have it go to my fan page. Um, and that way we can just post them on the fan page and I'll post with whose credit it is. Hi, Christine. Yes, I don't usually see you as sitting and knitting. So, hi, Christine. Thank you for joining us. Um, so, that's what we're doing. So, today I want to create a gift. Um, it's a gift card holder uh, to give as a gift. So, and kind of where it started was I, um, I did a little project on my blog. Some of you may have seen it. Some of you may not have. And I'll show you some pictures here. Um, this is the cover of it. And those of you who know me or who have like kind of looked to see what we're doing ahead of time, know what the product is that this is built upon. Um, thank you, Sin. And um, it has in it these tags that pull out. So can anybody guess what it is? Yes, it's toilet paper rolls. And so they have these tags. And so like this is the inside. And this is created for a teacher. I'll show you again in a minute so you can see how interactive it is. But um, this is created for a teacher. So I have educational quotes in it. And this blank page over here on the right is for um, myself or for Samantha to write a note. This is for her kindergarten teacher. And then inside the tags, the tags also have quotes on them. 
you can stick a gift card. And um, the gift cards are a great way. And usually for our teachers, because our teachers are always, always, always spending money out of their pockets because the state and the school system never gives them enough money. I usually like to try to get something like a gift card to the local Staples or to something um, like our, we have an art, we have a teacher store. So maybe a gift certificate to a teacher store. And then the other one be like a Starbucks card or, you know, something luxurious for them that they would enjoy. Um, so we have lots of fun places that our, our teachers like to go and eat and, and we can get gift cards for them for that. So, so like this, this was the first one. This is the one you just saw. It opens and it's bound. Um, and this one has lots of little funny blue and gold is the colors of our, um, school. And I had gotten some really fun fibers from a lady who knits, um, and so that's what I put on mine was these fun fibers. So we're not making this one. This is just your example. Tonight we're using one that my mom made a kit for through Cut and Paste Memories. And I think Mommy just joined us in the room. Didn't you, Mommy? Hi, Mommy. Maybe Will's here too. Hi, Joy. Welcome, everyone that's just come in. Um, what this is made out of, here's what's in the kit. You get three, so we're going to do three, toilet paper rolls. Hi, Will. And they've been bound together with a bind it all. And the easiest thing to do is, for those of you who are not familiar with, you know, saving toilet paper rolls, if you don't want to buy the kit, save your toilet paper rolls and then squish them. And usually I squish them and maybe um, use my bone folder on either side to make it even squishier. And I set it under something heavy and let it sit there. And I usually have several of these squished sitting there somewhere. So toilet paper roll. It's been bound together with a bind at all. If you have any other kind of binding things, you know, just punch some holes, use your crocodile, whatever. Um, that's an excellent idea, Sandy, is to put them through the big shot. But bind them together so that they will stay together and they can open. I have a bind it all and I love it. And, and these are red so that they match Christmassy stuff. It's great fun. Okay, also in the kit, you get some fun ribbons. And one of these ribbons is Mommy's favorite. She uh, She's a big ribbon fiend. And look, it stretches. Okay. So you get some ribbons, get a selection of Christmas buttons. Um, and then there are some cool parts. So instead of buying a whole box of the Tim Holtz stuff, you can get a selection to play with and see if you like certain things. And part of them are the little, let's see if I can put my hand behind it, the little bitty mini safety or what do you call those paper clips if they will focus I think the bind it all is the best one I enjoy it very much I use it a lot for projects and this is another fun little thing you get some um, some rings and you get some little clips so we can make some little dangly stuff and And then here's some pins. These are a lot of fun. And then you get some of the Tim Holtz little tickets that have words on them. Thanks, Sigrid. I missed you too. And then you get a wire word. And these wire words... Um, they used to come five or six to a card and said bunches of different stuff. I don't know if mom even has them in the store in them anymore, but, um, these are wired by Leslie Ray. So, um, that would be me. I made these. 
So you get a little piece of art that I made. I may, uh, I'm planning on doing some stuff one day for Bev. Bev require, uh, requested a show on talking about wire and jewelry making and stuff. And I may show how to do wired words because they're very fun and very simple and very easy to make. You would like some for your birthday. You don't know when I would have spare time. I don't know either, Vicki. I really don't. I'm, uh, you know, going crazy. So that's what comes in the kit. You get a wired word, the ribbons, the buttons, some Tim Holtz fun stuff, and your base. Um, and when I made this, I like to use things that match. Uh, the one I did for teachers is an old Close to My Heart kit that I love the colors. Um, this I want to use... Well, I'll let you choose, because really, it doesn't matter either way to me. We can either use the Eskimo Kisses paper, which is a basic gray paper pad. Or we can use the Wassel paper pad. Kisses or Wassel Kisses. Okay, we'll go with Kisses. So we're going to use the Kisses paper pad and um, let me show you what's in it. It's really pretty. Basically, this is a 6x6 six six pad from Basic Gray and they have this paper also in a small pad. The only thing with the small pad is that it's front and back. So you have some some colors on the front and some colors on the back. And unfortunately, um, if you like one, hopefully a less than attractive one is on the back because then you'll need more paper because you don't want to use up that paper because the pretty one is on there. But in the 6x6 six six pad, they're all on one thing. And so there's these fun ones with the uh, with the hollies and berries. And I love that it has non-traditional colors in it with the pink and the light blue. I love these stripes. These make great faux ribbons. Yes, you get two sheets per image on this one. And then this, see... For me, the funny little houses, I would hope would be on a pretty one because I would never use the funny little houses. Sorry, guys. Don't tell. But see, like, I really like plaids. And so you get two pages of plaids. And I love this with the pink and the red. Let's see if it'll focus. Is that better, Sandy? And the other thing about this is that these are smaller than they appear. So it's not this size square that you're going to get. It's at least twice that size. Yes, lots of pink in this pad. And in fact, um, Sizzix has some of these that go with this one as dies that you can order. I love this one. I love it. And then, then we're back to one that's not my favorite. This one looks like wood grain. It's kind of strange. <laughs> yes, we have external commentary. And then the cute little Eskimos with the reindeer. Not sure why that one doesn't want to focus. 
Let's see. Oh, and the reindeers again. And this one, this one's T90. Look, I'm going to put it up a little close so you can see how intricate that is. But, I mean, it's, it's pretty T90. And, of course, the little ornaments. And I love all those ornaments. And this one, love this one. Very decorative. And this one, I don't know, looks like candies. And this one, it's very funny with little trees, maybe. So this one is all about the, um, the pattern papers. Um, which is different from some of the basic gray stuff because some of them have pattern paper and like a cardstock base. Like the, the other one will have some that are look like this. That's kind of a distressed cardstock base look. And this is for them rather than being a pattern paper for them. This is, their cardstock. Okay. Um, others will have just pattern paper. And so Eskimo Kisses is one of the kits that has just pattern paper. If you bought it as a 12 by 12, it also has like a sticker alphabet and um, some cardstock stickers that are little shapes and tags and borders and that kind of stuff. So, yes, it's, it's, can you hear? You know how I like to hear paper and, and the, the wobble it makes. Um, it's a nice thick cardstock. There's the woman that sells it. It's 65 pounds, people. So it's a nice thick cardstock. Um, our paper. It's it's substantial. Um, and but it's also the perfect size for covering toilet paper rolls. Who to thunk it, right? So if y'all are ready to get get going. Um, I can kind of see the chat while I'm going. If you have a question, if you either type in all caps or stick the, um, the little Q, it's a colon Q colon, um, that'll kind of catch my eye and I will try to answer it. Um, if nothing else, mommy has my phone and she can text me and say, Hey, somebody's talking to you and, and then I can hear it. So, yes, let's get this party started, guys. So, I'm going to move y'all down. You can Sandy requested that we zoom out just a little. Try to fix it where you're not just looking at my, my body. There you go. Everybody see good? So, we're going to use some of these. And some we're going to need for tags. And some we're going to need for covering the toilet paper rolls. And I really like this one. This one makes me happy. I have some ideas for that one. Okay, let's start there. Did I pull out this one? Did I? Did I? I did not. I need that one. That one also makes me very happy. So, the easiest way to start with this, I'm going to move our gadgets out of the way here. I 
They're over in my little gadget basket that's beside me. And to start with this, I'm going to kind of pull this apart just a smidge, just enough to get the toilet paper rolls out. So if you got a kit, um, this is what you could do. And I'm just putting a pencil in here and kind of, I'm going to kind of lift a little. Okay. And then I'm going to take this off. If you were, of course, you know, working with your own toilet paper rolls and didn't already have a bound one, you could, um, you know, cover them and then put your holes in. Hi, Pam. We were just going over some of the goodies we got. We're just now starting the covering and stuff. And if you read my blog post, you'll know that not all toilet paper rolls are created equal. And some are going to be longer than others. I'm going to worry about trimming these after I get them covered. Okay? So, the easiest way to cover, I like to use my Beacon 3-in-1. And when you first get one of these, uh, nothing comes out the top. The top is, is closed. And so, I like to cut a little slit that's kind of off to the edge. I don't know if you can even see that. Where you have a little hole and that makes it easier. And what I like to do is I know one side is going to be um, is going to have a seam and I like to make that one of my insides so that my outside is always uncovered or is always covered fully with no seam. And I'm putting my glue on. And this glue is very tacky and does a really good job at sticking. To the paper. Well, I'm so glad you and the computer are compatible tonight, mommy. are not compatible. Eek, I'm sorry. And I wait here. I could start trimming this, but I'm going to wait until I have it folded back over a little. Um, it just makes me happier. I always love when you get a new bottle of glue because it acts so nice. I rarely have one that lasts for very long because I do a lot of gluing. But sometimes if you get that glue that you've had for a while, it, it does not always want to play right. And see, this is just perfect because it's going to have just a little bit of a seam right there. I put my glue down before I was ready to do this, but I'm going to trim it off. See how easy these cover with a piece of six by six paper. Ta ta. I think I want both of that shade for the top and the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the second sheet of that. And at this point, I'm kind of thinking I want to watch because here's where my holes are. So when I make the bottom, I want the seam to be on this side. So my holes are here. So see, here's this seam right here. 
and my holes are here so I want this seam to be right here so I'm kind of being conscious of that when I when I start gluing if you don't care where your seams are by all means <laughs> glue it how you want to um, or if you think you're gonna make a, a little mat to cover it where it's not gonna matter um, that too could happen the one that I showed you earlier I had made like a little strip to go in the middle <laughs> picky picky well I mean some people don't care if I was making these for like a craft booth or something um, I would probably you know be a little more picky um, giving these to the teachers and stuff this is a reflection of of you know me as a parent and my kid and and some teachers they you know they look for quality now of course part of it being handmade is is that it's handmade right but part of them they look for quality and and that's important to them so all right and see here I could go on and glue on this side if I wanted to and still get the same effect before I get too carried away. I'm going to trim this. And I can look at it already and know that I, well, it's not going to see. Okay, that's not too bad. So there's that. So we got the front and the back cover. And if you wanted to, you could, um, of course, you know, when you take it apart, if you just wanted to do two, you didn't want to put like a note from your kid or whatever in there, you could just do the two and be, be good. But I want to do one more, and I think I want to use this pretty paper. And again, I'm thinking about where my holes are. And visually, I want this one to be on the back. Well, good luck, Sandy. Sandy, you can catch me on the replay. You go learn and and good luck with your opportunity for that, okay? Yes, you came back in time to say bye to Sandy. Okay, now, you'll notice some of these I didn't trim really close, right? Because, like I said, not all toilet paper rolls are created equal. And so, I'm going to come back in and check them out. And this is what I'm seeing. Let's see if I can show this to you. See, they're not equal. Two are longer than one. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my cutter here. And it's too big. I'm not using my little cutter. I'm using my, my bigger guillotine cutter. And I'm going to trim them up so that they're all equal. So bear with me real quick while I do that. And when I do this, I'm making sure that I am not cutting off my holes. So. And the magic number I am shooting for is four and a quarter. See, like that one had to barely cut it all. Okay, so four and a quarter is what I ended up with there. Now, as you notice, my holes are, are covered up. And that could be problematic because, you know, it's a little book. So I'm going to go back in now and get my holes out. Um, you could use any number of things to poke holes. A regular hole punch would work. Um, I am going to use my um, handy dandy little puncher. Go. That is a um, my Japanese screw punch. If you haven't seen one of these, they have lots of nibs that you can interchange. Um, they started out as a product for bookmaking and leather punching, and um, they're pretty handy for what we're fixing to do here. And it'll make it really fast, I think. Um, I'm going to use just a piece of cardboard to punch into. You could use some sort of a, um, a cutting mat or whatever. I'm just going to use a piece of cardboard. And kind of go... I'm going to mark these, I think. Marking them will make them easier to find. Um, and I'm going to mark them. All I'm doing is poking just a little starter hole so I can find them. Um, okay. All right. There we go. So now I can... I didn't go all the way through here. Sorry. Hang on, guys. Are you had jury duty? I had a friend that I used to scrapbook who was a um, an attorney, and she was a criminal attorney. And we would be scrapbooking, and she would get these calls like on a Saturday afternoon from clients or potential clients, and uh, uh, some of those people were pretty kind of scary. Uh, I remember one time she said, okay, um, you know, don't tell me where the money is or is there a body? You know, you'd be sitting there scrapbooking and you're like, what did you just say? Do you know where the body is? <laughs> it was, it was quite randomly strange. 
Yeah, I know, right? The cool thing about her, um, uh, yeah, she had a scrapbook room in her office. So between uh, court cases, she would work on her swaps and things to uh, chill out, chillax, I guess. So it was cool. She had lots of toys. It was fun to play with her. Rich scrapbook friends are always fun to play with. Okay. So we got two of those done. This is our last one. I think it's very cool to take part in the judiciary system, Pam. I applaud you. Sigrid, I am more than happy that you have graced me with your presence. I think both of us have been extremely busy and haven't gotten to, to chat lately. Um, why did I punch a square and now a round? The bind it all, that's the shape it punches, is the square. I could have, um, the way I attacked this today was that as if you didn't have a bind it all, you bought it with it already bound like it was and what would you do and um, since you don't have a bind all you wouldn't just stick it back in your bind at all right so you'd probably get your handheld punch and punch it well um, I know somebody's gonna die when I say this but I don't have a crocodile um, so I would not put it back in my crocodile I would put it back in my bind at all um, so what I used is what I had I, I chose not to use my my handheld punch I have a really, really old, really old handheld punch that's probably on its last punching leg. And um, so I used my my Chinese screw punch instead. So now we're going to put it back together. I have front, back, front, front, back, front, together. To do this, you want to take the back, bring it to the front. Okay, so you see the seam. And that's how you're going to string these back on. Because with the bind it all, your, your item goes like this on the back. Can you see the string going across here? Okay. So that's what you want. So you're going to have two covers together for a minute. If I can hold my mouth right and get this all back together. There we go. And then my middle page will go in last. And this is always the situation with a bind it all. You will always, always flip the back to the front, put your stuff in, and then stick it back together. So I'm just simply squishing this a little bit with my fingers. This wire is not real bad. It looked like it took a great deal of force to undo it, but stick it back together it's it's going to back real easy so there we go I have it all bound together now does it bother me that it's red no why because I'm gonna stick some stuff on there to make it 
not red. Okay, uh, so that's going to be just fine. Um, what I want to do next is to use some of the stains to stain the edges or whatever. And so I want to use the peeled paint stain because it's Christmas and we're doing red and green. And I have peeled paint and I like it because it's a lot of fun. There is a little bit of green like in this one but not so much in the other. So I want to kind of unify these with a little bit of green. So I'm going to kind of go around the edges with the stains. The stain is exactly what's in the pad, only it's more concentrated. So what I'm doing takes a immensely short amount of time to get that much ink on just the edge. You see? And so I might want to do the sides too. The stains are a lot of fun to work with. I haven't even started to touch the surface of what all they can do. Um, they're just super fun and easy. And because um, they react just like all of the, the, the dye inks do that are in the, you know, pads. So. So all those cool techniques that I taught you and showed you, they're going to do that too. So see how easy that was? And we're not still going to blah, 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 blah. We just went Okay. So now we have the base here built. All right. Thank you, Sin. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I really like these papers. I don't know if you saw my, uh, my countdown box with the little match boxes that you pull out. But I used the bigger pad of paper for it, and those are really fun. So we have that. I want to make a couple of tags. Now, what I did for this one was that I made a tag using a 8-inch piece of paper, trimmed it, and cut it. Um, if we're using the 6x6 six six pad, I don't have the luxury of an 8-inch paper, now do I? So what I want to do is, since I put them together with a brad at the top, um, we can do some little decorative things. And I'll show you how to do that. That's, that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, they are white on the inside, which makes them very interesting. You could double it so that you have white, you know, two different colors. Just glue them together. Okay. Um, these... The size across on your toilet paper roll is, I think about two, it's a little, it's a little more than two and a half inches. So if you did a two and a half inch tag, it would fit in there very snugly. So I'm going to do a two and a quarter inch tag. And I think I will, um, maybe make a little mat on it that's like, you know, cut it two inches. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to do one that's two and a quarter by six and one that's two and a quarter by four. And we're going to make a cute little hinge for it. So I'm going to cut these real quick. So two and a quarter by two and a quarter is four and a half. Right guys? Well, have that. Does anybody have any questions so far? Yeah, some are a little bigger, some are a little smaller. That's true. And they might, four inches may hang off more than I want it to. So I may come back and make it smaller even. But I want to do these three for tags. The neat thing about the basic gray papers is the whole pad goes together. It matches. It's just, you know, by design, it matches. So.
Do they have bigger TP in Canada, Sim? Oh, do they don? Do they have bigger TP? Don's not answering me either. Lumberjack size. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I don't know. Maybe you've been to the United States and you just kind of know those things. I don't know. How would you know? Right? Okay. I see your point. I get it. I understand. I think we should each send each other a roll of toilet paper and see who's is bigger. I know just based on brand, some brands are bigger than others. Okay, we could, what I want to do, here I'll show you on one, what I want to do. I'm going to take, and at four inches, I'm going to make a score line here, okay? And so this is going to be one side of my... Am. <laughs> anyway, okay, I'll take one side of my paper. This is my long paper that's two and a quarter by six inches, okay? I scored it at four inches because our toilet paper tubes are about four and a quarter. So when you stick this in, see, we're going to, we might want to leave it out like this or we might want to trim it, all right? Um, Hmm. I may want to trim it. I think I'm going to trim it. I'm going to trim it. I know. I'll trim it. So let's trim it. I'm going to trim about a half inch off of all of them. Hey, Pam, have you seen the movie Wagons East? It's an old John Candy movie. Have you seen it? <laughs> I doubt you will find it. On DVD. Yes, you have? Okay. Um, you, it's hilarious. Why? Okay. <laughs> the, there's a part in the movie. The basis of the movie is all these people have moved out west, and they are very unhappy with their situation. And so, what they have proposed is that they are going to go east. And so they have to find someone to hire to take them east. So what they're going to do is they end up hiring John Candy to take them back east. But the group of people, <laughs> the group of people that are involved in going back east are a mail order bride who got there and all of these um, half-wit brothers have put together all of their money to purchase her. And she gets there and, you know, they're like, oh, it's all of us. And so she's kind of freaked out. And then the, um, the, the doctor who is, has kind of lost his touch is another one that's there and he is ready to leave and one of them is a gay bookseller book trader who has had his last bad customer and his last bad customer has come in and wants to see the book war and peace and the uh no not war and peace sorry pride and prejudice and the guy says, well, here's the book, and this is how much it'll cost. 
And he said, well, how much for just the pride? And he goes, oh, well, it's, you know, it's a box set. It goes together. And he says, well, all right. And so he takes it and he rips out a piece of paper, closes it, and he says, where's your outhouse? And he's going to use the book for toilet paper. Hilarious. Hilarious movie. It's very funny. John Candy's last movie. In fact, he died while they were filming it. So... Yes, you could use the Cricut to cut your tag if you had one, <laughs> but I don't. So see, you could cut these, and what I want to do is then take them and fold it again here to make a cute little folded edge on it so that it's like this, and that'll be my tag. So we can mix and match these. Yes. See, Sigrid, I used to say I don't chirp and I don't tweet, but now I can't say that anymore because I, I now tweet. I just don't chirp. So I'm going to stick a little glue right here. And fold this over. And I want to use, again, my stain on the edge for this. See how easy and fast that was? And now I can take this glue here. Well, I need to do my, my matchy, matchy one. Our Walmart right now has a whole bunch of um, cartridges. I have no idea what they're for. I mean, they're, I don't know if they're expressions or what. I just know they're like the bug is on them for like 25 bucks. So, so I'm going to stick him down like this. All right. And so we have a real simple little tag that's going to go in and out of our book. And now that I did the half off, or, you know, the, the bit off, I can slide him in there and we can, you can just see the tails coming out. I'd rather spend the money on dies for my Sizzix. I use my Sizzix every, almost every day. Love my Sizzix. I probably feel the same way about my Sizzix as the, the chirping people feel about their crickets. Okay. So, for me, the green stain is just kind of tying everything together. Not that it doesn't already matter. Yes, and Vicki, did you hear me say this actual paper that we're using? Sizzix has basic gray dyes to go with it that match it. So I have that one. This one. I need this one, right? right? Pam, actually, a lot of the um, AccuCut, or if you look under Sizzix, they have a lot of their dyes that um, are quilt dyes that go through the 
Sizzix Big Shot Pro and the Sizzix Big Shot, both. So we have another one. So we have two tags. We need one more tag. So I like these cute little tags. Yes, you can cut fabric. Steel rolled dies are very, very strong and very, very sharp. Um, it can cut through all kinds of stuff. Usually even some of like the cuddle bug dies and the sizzlets, if you um, back your fabric with um, some paper or something to kind of help it, um, it will cut those too. I've had experience with that. Um, I know that with the steel roll dies, you don't necessarily have to have any kind of backing for them. They will just they will just do it. Yes. I have tons of cuddle bug folders, Vicki, and I run through them through my Sizzix all the time. One of my favorite things to use. In fact, I did some crafty stuff with them for the odd show Friday before last. So. I really like the way these little tags are coming out, ladies. I hope you do too. Now, if you had issue with the inside of your tag being white and you wanted to put something else, you could. Um, if you wanted to get a credit card or a gift card to stick in there, um, at this size, they fit perfect. Um, I would use like a glue dot to stick in there to hold it in place. That's what I used in the other one. So you could have all kinds of, of gift cards. Uh, this ended up being, let's see, for the for the perfect gift card tag, this ended up being three and a half inches long by two and a quarter inches wide. So, you know, you wouldn't want to go any smaller than that, okay? So now we have our tag holders. And... We have our our thingy that we want to put them in. So they'll fit in like here and here and here. Now here comes the fun part. We get to embellish, right? So we have all kinds of fun stuff to embellish with. We have buttons. We have these little these little goobers. These are neat. We're going to use at least one of these. You get two. Um, they come with a set of rings, jump rings. Okay. Everybody see the jump rings? El Jumpo Ringo. Jump ring. And then they come with this. That looks like a figure eight. Okay. And it has a slit in it. And the slit, you ready? You ready for it? Is a tight little slit. And See how tight it is? <laughs> Hang on. I have to manhandle my, my thing here. You can either, there we go. Sorry, my slit is being, um, Anyway, you can slide things on it, okay, if you wanted to, so that 
they slide on here. <laughs> you can slide things on it. Um, like one of these other little things we're going to take out. There we go. Like these. These slide much easier. Well, at least the other ones I had did. Where's my pokey tool? Yeah, you could slide a charm on it, but what I'm trying to do is they, um, here we go. Ha ha ha. You have to be smarter than the charm. Here we go. See how this slides on? They should do like that. So here, let me grab one. There we go. That one will be able to slide now. It's like it was stuck. It was very strange. Yes, they're Tim Holtz. Mommy has these in her store. Um, and you get a few to play with in your kit. So see. So you get some of these with the pens, and you get some of these that we're going to stick a little charmy thing on, all right? And so you get the cute little ribbons, and you get some of the mini paper clips, which are a lot of fun. <laughs> and much easier to use than the others. Here we go. Ready? Watch. Oh, see it works. Beautiful, right? So much easier to use. So there are those, and you get lots of fun buttons that you can add whatever you want to on here. So I want to make a, um, oh, I forgot about these. We get these too. This one has Wish, and let's see if we got different ones. Oh, we did. We got Wish, and Story, and Play, and Adore, and Giggle, and Dream. So... You could use some of those on there too. So we'll do that. And let's see. I think I want to put Santa on my cover. And these are just glue dotted onto the paper so that they will stay. And glue dots is exactly how you can stick them on your project. And they're just made with a simple little gauge wire they come right off okay this one says Santa and he kind of gets lost in this background here so I think what I want to do is see if he'll look better on that or even maybe kind of dress up a just a blank sheet of paper and make a little mat and put him on that so I think I'll uh, I'll go with a blank now, um, if you wanted to use the other one, the other one is the one that has the solids. This one did not come with solids. So, I'm going to reach back here to a piece of green paper I know will be fun with this. And I want to matted on here so I need it to be at least an inch and an inch. How about an inch? About an inch? I think an inch. I know we'll cut it an inch. Yes, definitely green flowers. Okay. So here's an inch. There's Santa on there. I'm going to use my new bling zots. These are lots of fun. Bye, Christine. Thank you for coming. The reason I like these zots for bling is because they're, they're itty bitty. Can you see? Let's see. There he is. See how itty bitty he is? And how cute he'll be? 
I mean, that's itty bitty, right, guys? So, I'm going to use my, I'm using my bling zots, mama. And I'm going to, there we go. So I'm going to put that Santa here on my green. And I'm just going to trim him straight here. I want a box for the train people. <laughs> Azots. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, what? For saying Zot stops. Okay. Train people are itty bitty. Okay. So we have Santa, and I want to, to ink around him to match him up with the rest of them. And he's going to fit on here just perfect. Well, not quite. He's going to be just a smidge big, so I'm going to cut him down just a smidge. <laughs> right, Tana. Santa! Santa's too big. Santa can't fit through the chimney. Ah, oh, big Santa. There we go. Okay. Oh, we have our Santa. And I like him on the cover. It can be anything you want. I'm going to add some, some, uh, let's see. I want to add one of these. And... I want to add wish. Yes, ma'am, wish. And again, I want to just kind of go along the edge of this and kind of green it up a little. And if you look, it's going. Yeah, it goes over the numbers and stuff pretty good. So, I love you, Mama. I love you too, Sam. Thank you. I love you too, Sam. Really? Huh. I am drying the ink. Drying the ink. I'm drying the ink. Really. Really, really. And. Can I have sparkles? Not right now. Can you go watch your movie, please? Oh, it's Daddy's movie. Okay, so I have Wish, and this could be Santa's Wish, okay, 
or it could be wish Santa. Y'all like him up there? Okay. I think I'm going to put a zot behind it just to kind of hold it in place. It's kind of stuck in the zot on the A, but I'm going to put a little zot right here. I just got these little bling zots and they are very fun and very easy to work with in case y'all are uh oops didn't need to make it that zotted down did I because then it made my A come up funny there we go so Santa and Wish what are you wondering Sigrid Sorry if I didn't complete a sentence. <laughs> That's why I have my translators in the room. Mommy and, and Dawn and and Sigrid can finish my sentences for me. Hmm. Just stuck one to the back of my nail. Cute. Okay. I want here I'm going to use one for a um, a closure I think maybe let's see I'll stick my tags in here better going to thank you Don you want to do this and not poke your finger with your pokey tool I say that because I I feel pretty sure if I don't hold my mouth right I'm going to. There we go. Got it. <laughs> so that's I'm sticking that on the back. And I'm going to grab my um my little jump ring. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sigrid. I'm going to grab my little jump ring so he's on here. Look, mommy, it stretches. Okay. Anyway, here we go. 
And the reason I kind of want a closure on here is just simply because, um, so it won't go and just open up, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. Sigurd answers all the questions for everybody. Um, Remember I poked a hole. I think I'm going to use my other jump ring. And stick it in my hole. Because nothing says you have to use it with the, uh, with the thing, you know. You can use it with whatever you want to. And I think I want to use it this way. And I think instead of it going through there, I think I want it to go through here. And here and be attached so that you could pull it off the back and close it. So this could come off if you wanted it to, right? So everybody follow what I'm saying? No, what I'm saying is, if I can get this to tie, okay, maybe I don't want it to tie it that way. I want to tie it this way. I'm going to tie a little knot here of the stretch step and trim it right there. Okay, so it's, you know, it's tied, right? And you can pull it off back here. You can pull this off and then hold your mouth right and stick it back on. Because, you know, everybody that you give it to is going to have a pokey tool, right? So that they can stick it back on. <laughs> I think I would work this so it's not so hard to open and then, but I still like that idea for the closure. So I think I would kind of, okay. I am still here, Christine. So fix it where it'll. Or just warn them, say once you get it open, you don't get it back closed. But anyway, that's the idea. I like that idea. Okay, so let's do some decorating on the inside. Um, you want a place to write a note. You want a place to um, stick some other little embellishments. And I'm just using my leftover tags and stuff. And I'm going to make just some little squares. Put some stain on there. And this one, I'm going to use a little paper clip. See, I said it's Sigrid. Okay.
You've missed so much, Christine. What have you missed? Leslie Ray only has the Leslie Ray's crafty gig twice a month. Well, I know tonight um, our buddy Amanda wasn't here because it was Jeff's birthday and also they were having a lot of storms and I know she's trying to be available in case she needs to hear something about her mom. Uh, and I talked to Fab earlier and Fab's not here because, um, well... <laughs> It's the crack of dawn where Fab is or middle of the night or whichever. And so I knew Fab wouldn't be here because Fab needs his sleep. He needs his beauty rest. But um, he is supposed to be back on in September. Um, I think he's going to do one show not as late as this, but a little bit earlier. Probably around the hour of, say... Um, thinking we were talking 5.36 my time, uh, mine's central standard time, maybe. Um, her mom, I don't know if any, if everybody saw on Facebook, her mom, um, went to the hospital and, um, uh, she could certainly use, um, uh, all of our well wishes and thoughts right now. They, she has some, um, she has some internal bleeding and, um, and they don't know where it's coming from yet. So, um, they're working on that. But anyway, so everybody think well wishes for her. I am going to, I think, put some bling along the side here. Some pretty pearly bling. And guess what, guys? The bling I'm using is basic gray bling. So, of course, it matches. Is that not the coolest? And if your bling doesn't stick, you could use the little blingy dots that I have been using. To stick things down with. Now on this page you could do any number of things. You could stick a picture of your kid. You could, um, if you were given this to your spouse and you knew he wanted something fishy like uh, but you didn't know what piece of fishing equipment he wanted or what piece of hunting equipment you wanted. You could put a, like a, either an emblem of his favorite store there, or you could put an emblem of something that he, um, like you said, he wanted a gun, but you didn't know it was the bloody, bloody blah, super special, you know, kill him dead gun. You could put just, you know, uh, you know, uh, honey, I'm thinking about you. Here's a gun thing. Ug, mama. You could put ug. Oh, Pam, ick. Okay, ug. I got it. So, you could put an image there. You could put an image of you. Say love you, whatever. I want the tag that said play. There it is. I am going to put play on mine. I'll put play right there. Because my thought is what's going to be on that gift card is for play.
to remember which direction I'm going here. Sorry, hang on guys. I gotta rethink where the bling is on this one. I'll fix that in a minute. The bling is keeps popping the Santa up. Okay, so I want play there. <clears throat> right on here. For you. Yeah, I'm thinking like a pop dot or something. It, it keeps popping up my stuff, not how I want it to be popped up. I like this little organdy ribbon. It's very shiny. It's got like a a sheer shiny stuff to it. A sheer shiny stuff? That made a lot of sense, didn't it? You know, it's shiny, it's sheer. It's sheer shiny stuff. Sheen. Sheen is a good word. Thank you. Embellishments are not my friend tonight, are they, guys? I know. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. It's <laughs> it. Guess what? <laughs> oh look. It's our tag. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> we'll make it pretty. We'll add more stuff to it. <laughs> I don't think it's the nail's fault. I think embellishments are just not my friends tonight. Cigarette is what I'm thinking. Um, it, they're crazy. Chicken. Fine. Here. I'll do it again. There you go. <laughs> A bow. Yay, me. I've graduated bow. Whatever. So in here, you have plenty of room to stick your um, gift card and close it. I want to make a little thingy here. Yay, me.
Don't look. And then just make a cute little stem. Using a, a brown sharpie. It's not a flower, it's a tree, Sigrid. I'll use a flower in a minute, Sigrid. I was trying to use the uh, the buttons because you get a bunch of buttons and I thought they would make cute little trees. Or green snowmen, if you prefer. <laughs> oh, Tannenbaum, right. Yeah, I'm not going to start singing. That's, that's just quite all right. You don't have to worry about that. Okay, you really don't get enough buttons to do this. I'm still in the buttons out of the second kit. There we go. More, more buttons. Actually, my mom's favorite song is um, Hopping Down the Bunny Trail. Here comes Peter Cottontail. Yep, oh, hippity hoppity. Here comes Peter Cottontail hopping down the bunny trail. I'm not going to sing for you. See, that's a little more complex for me, Secret. <laughs> So 
So, Sigrid, what I want to know is when you have your birthday, is your twin going to have her birthday too? Or do y'all celebrate on two different days? Okay. I put that there. You could write on that. Um, you know, whatever. Well, maybe y'all were born over midnight. One of you has one birthday and one of them the other. Or maybe it's a, you know, I don't know. Just asking. Okay. So we have for you started. And I think because somebody would really 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 like something floral on there. I don't know anybody like that. Do y'all know anybody like that that would really like something floral on there? Um, I like this little flower. And I'm just coloring on it with the stain. I'm not even coloring all of it with the stain. I just, and actually what I may do is take it apart. Because really, there we go. Really, I want the flat part because I want to put a button in it. So I'm going to take. There we go. And with the stains, they're very wet. And um, I don't have to, I could just go stick them over and let them dry. But I want to I want to dry them a little. But also with flowers, depending on how cheap they are, you don't want to dry them too closely because you could melt them. And I've done that and it would be a bad thing. Okay, I like how I like the green flowers. I like taking apart flowers, um, for, especially for something I want to keep kind of um, not extra bulky because they'll um, you get lots of pieces. And like this flower had four petals in the bigger flowers in different sizes. Yes, ma'am, I will stop by your blog tomorrow. The other thing you could do with these is um, you could stamp a color on top of them. You could, um, for instance, take this this stamp here, and let's see. I had. Oh, here they are. I'm just taking just a simple kind of swirly stamp. 
stamping on it, giving it a little texture. I like the texture. Okay. And I stamped it with a Distress Ink, and it's just a, yes, you could glimmer and miss them. It's just a dollar El Cheapio Stampio. And and now I'm going to, this is the portion where I chase the flowers around the room. Hang on, guys. Okay. And I like the way these turned out here. I was going to show them closer for you. Um, you can kind of see where we stamped them with the image. And um, I could have because this flower doesn't have a lot of acrylic in it. It's more of a cottony flower and it doesn't start curling. When I stamped it, I could have stuck some like embossed powder on it. If the if the bottom of the flower was dry, like if I had dried the green first, let it dry, and then stamped it with the Distress Ink, I could come back in it with some embossing powder and get kind of a shiny effect too. So, um, I'm going to use, y'all were talking about what do you use to stick flowers on. Even when they're three-dimensional like this, this baby will do it. Um, I've used a product uh, from another company just out of curiosity to see how it would function um, in this particular situation. And it didn't do a real good job for me. Um, it came on real greasy. And I had a lot of problems with it. So I um, And when it wasn't keeping the flower on the way I wanted it to, I went in and um, thought, well, okay, I'll zap it with some hot glue. And... The hot glue, um, it just peeled off. Like the glue that was underneath it was Vaseline or something. It was so bizarre. And I ended up, I peeled off everything that was on it. And I um, grabbed my Beacon 3-in-1. And even with the greasy spot that was still on the paper, the Beacon 3-in-1 held it. So... Yeah, the beacon glue, the, these are going to stay put. Even the buttons that I just glued on with beacon will stay put. That sounds really cool, Pam. I want to see those. So... Hi, Oz Gran. Ah, Jen. Jen, are you from the group of ladies with Carrie and Rach and all the beautiful paper crafters? Ah, 
This is one of my new friends. I'm so excited. Hi, Jen. Okay, so, alrighty. Let me show you a couple of ways you can make tag pulls, all right? Um, you can stick one of your clippies on there, one of your baby clips. And tie a bow through it. See, I don't have it all the way down yet, okay? You can tie a bow through it or a knot. I'm going to tie a knot, but I'm going to clip it first all the way down. And tie this knot. And there we go. Okay. And so he can. He can just slide in and out of here because you have the little clippy bow on there, okay? Okay, Jen, clean away. And then come clean mine, okay? So we have a couple of pages here. And then we wanted we could make our curly ribbon go around you know it can it can be on both sides of something if you want that we could have it come across this like it's kind of holding the for you in and really I kind of think I like that And if you wanted that knot to be on top, so it adds just a little added dimension. So it looks like it's holding the for you message in. And then on this side, we'll have something else that we can tuck in there too. Okay? Are y'all following me? These little square pieces are just the pieces that I trimmed off when I was trimming with those pieces of paper. Now, you'll notice that I'm just kind of sticking with the few pieces of paper that I started with. I could have used a gajillion other papers too, but by sticking with just a few, hi Sandy, I did miss you, uh, with sticking with just a few, then I will be able to uh, make several of these out of that one pad of paper. So you can think of it as recycling at its greatest and using sparingly everything. Sandy, we made these flowers. We took a flower like this apart and we cut it and or not cut it we, we took it apart and we stained it with the stains and then I stepped back on it with the um, another dye ink and just a, a random little stamp I had and um, I love it I love the way it's turning out so I think I want to sneak some little pearls in on the side here. Or some big pearls. Maybe some big pearls. Kind of have him kind of peeking up there. So, just 
just kind of have those sneaking out. You didn't scare me, Sandy. I expected you to come back. You're a discerning woman with good taste. Come back, little pearl. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. So now I have like some little pearls just kind of, you know, curling around. Add a little added interest. Again, this could have a picture. Um, of what you wanted to to uh, give your person. You could stick a picture of yourself in there. What am I using to pick the pearls up with? I am using my, <laughs> my really sad looking ratty uh, Tim Holtz tonic um, stabby tool. Uh, I call it a pokey tool. Some people call it a stabby tool. It's a stabby pokey tool. I think he actually calls it a pick of some sort. Anyway. <laughs> but it retracts. See? Isn't that cool? Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Okay. So, that's what I'm using. <laughs> it's a craft pick. I don't know, Mom. It could be a craft pick. All right. And then, It was like a stabby tool to me. I like tearing too and then staining because <laughs> these, these really are fun to play with. <laughs> I like using the tools that are at the ends of my arms. They're easy and they're fun. Don't get me wrong. I love cutting. I love pasting. And I love, look, I mean, they've grown out a little, so don't look at that part. But watch, they sparkle. See how much they move? They sparkle and shimmer. And then we crackled them and we blinged them. And they've lasted almost like two weeks. It's great. I love it. Okay, and we need something to tuck in there. So I don't want to use the same color as on there. I want to... Ah, I can make a little note to tuck here. Not to a person named Tuck, but yes, Sandy, my uh, my hairdresser slash nail lady, uh, she's fancy, and uh, we decided to glitter and bling the last time we did nails and. It was a lot of fun. Everybody should glitter and bling their nails at least once in a while. So.
I was missing my girl, so I I glittered and bling to feel closer to her because she was she was not with me that day. She was at her Grammy and Papa's. That is Texas fancy. That is right. I love using buttons for centers of flowers. And my gloves make my hands feel so good. Although I'm still um, not having a whole lot of feeling in my index finger. I did a lot of fussy cutting with some really little scissors for the pieces that are on my blog. And, uh, hmm. Okay, guys. The key to gluing down a flower with glue is make sure it's not convex. All right, um. Yeah, I know I shouldn't fussy cut, but I use some little bitty scissors to fussy cut, and uh, yeah, still not feeling the, the having the feeling in the index finger. So you could tuck in here, guys. Get this a little love note, or you know whatever, and it can just be right there. So we've got for you play love note whatever. Let's see. Is there something here? We have a door. We have giggle. We have, ooh, dream. Dream would be good there, wouldn't it? Dream. Dream of what you can buy. Dream of what you can buy me. That would be fun. That would be cool. Like, for instance, for my son, he... One of my favorite things is he will wake up sometimes in the morning and he'll say, Mom, can I share my dream with you? And uh, and he'll tell me either about his dream of doing something um, with a, with a um, tractor, like making it a hot rod tractor, or how he's uh, decided what he wants to do on his layout. And uh, so he's always he's always got dreams that he wants to, to tell me about and share. And so, yes, like a Hobby Town gift card would be awesome for him so he can dream. So. How are you holding out? We got one more tag, guys. His Zen Doodle show? Yes. His next show, he is going to do a, um, a class on how to draw automobiles. Those are his words. A class on how to draw automobiles. So, are y'all ready for that? Oh, I do. I love, I love for him to tell me what his hopes and dreams are and talk to me all the time. I, I encourage that because, um, you know, it's cool. I had them because I wanted them and it's cool to know what makes them tick and what they want out of life. And, um, you know, they're my passion. They're, they're who I, they're who I do this for. I mean, this makes me a happy mommy. To get to play and to to play and dream and wish um, and and share these things with you, this makes me happy. So, you know, so I can be a good mom for them. Okay, another type of closure here, or not closure, but taggy, is to take a skinny piece of cardstock, and you can either cut it on your cutter. Um, or you can do just what I did right here and I'm going to make kind of a triangle fold. I'm going to fold it and I'm going to fold it. And you see that again? Okay, I'm going to fold it 
and I'm going to fold it. So I have this V-shaped triangle thing. And I can put that on there and take another little clippy and flip this bad boy down. So that it's flipped on there. And if you wanted it to stay put easier, you could stick a little bit of glue. You could definitely staple it. I was trying to use what was in our package. Come on, focus, buddy. Okay. And so I spend a lot of time making little paper ones, especially in projects like this. So, because I like the way the paper looks sticking out, right? I have, let's see, I have one flower left that I made. I did have one flower left. Here he is. I really thought I wanted this to be stretchy, but I don't. We're going to rethink this part here, guys. Just a second. Okay. There's my flower. I want a big bow, though. Okay. I'm going to stick him here. My big flower. He goes on the front. I'm going to stick my big red button. Ooh. Big red shiny button. Right here. Let's see. We need to move that down just a smidge so we can still see Santa. Okay. Where's our wish? Now we have something we can stick Ask away, Sandy. Okay. Did y'all see that? I stuck Wish here under that. Okay. And I think I want to stack another button on top of that button. No. I think I want to stack this button on top. The good thing about the Beacon 3-in-1 is like I got a little extra glue on the edge here. When that dries, I can just rub it and it'll it'll puddle up. And hang on. Dropped my pokey. Now I'm gonna grab a big bling and stick it right there. I'll dry in just a minute. Okay. So here's where we are. We got Santa Wish with a flowery bling. And I may come back up here and add a little more bling just a second, I'm thinking. And I've got my play. And for you. And in this one we have just a simple tag. Okay. You don't have to dress up all your tags. You can dress up some. Then we have this that has the little pullout that also has a place to write a message. Okay. Message place. And of course, dream. And in here, we have one of our tags, and we made little button trees on it, because I was just moved to make button trees on that one. And then in here, we have our tag that we pulled out with the little paper bow. Okay. 
okay and I was not happy with my closure so I'm going to put him back on here because while in theory it sounded interesting to have this pop off since it is such a pill to get back on I'm going to stick him on right here so he stays okay and we're just gonna do a simple ribbon if we can find a simple ribbon I'm going to use my green ribbon. You're going to try this for your mom's party, Pam? These are really cool also. Ooh, this is this is a different Ooh, I got different ribbon in this one. Um this is really cool for teacher gifts. This is really cool for um you know, um, I'd probably definitely make one for my husband. Um, he, he enjoys fast food and we try not to eat a whole lot of fast food. Um, but he has like some of his favorites. And so, you know, go get some gift cards for like Sonic and McDonald's and things. It'd be great for kids pictures. Um, it'd be great for, um, just little quotes and sayings. It'd be great if I didn't tie the bow around. Apparently, Green Ribbon and I are just challenged today. Mommy, I really like this light green ribbon, by the way. It would be great for Grammy. Grammy likes these. But, okay. So, if you were worried about people losing their ribbons... Uh, you could tie it on one end or the other, okay? Now, with the rest of the ribbons, I want to go down the sides. She'll pretend like she hasn't seen it, Sandy, so that she can have it. And um, just tie little knots. I don't know if y'all have tied, like, flip-flop knots or uh, handles for paint cans and stuff. Um, just take your ribbon. And usually, I spend time doing a bunch of these all at once at the end you know what Sandy what 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 question yes secret I know you love to get mail I would love to mail you mail secret <laughs> flip-flops um so you would tie a bunch of these hang on I'll tell you in just a second Sandy you would tie a bunch of these on the edges all the way down so you could have like something full like this. This is yarn, but you could do ribbon. Okay. Um, yes, Sigra does want one with gift cards. So that's, that's our project. You could sign it back here if you wanted to at another little thing. You don't have to. Okay. Um, okay, Sandy, the flip-flops. Take flip-flop, and on the top of the flip-flop, you can either use yarn or ribbon or little fabric strips, okay? Fabric strips about an inch and a half wide. And um, cut them about six to eight inches long if you're using ribbon or if you're using um, fabric. Yarn, not so much. And tie it in knots and tie it all along the edges of the top two parts of the flip-flop that go down to the toe. Don't tie it around the toe because it'll just be a pain. But tie along those, and then you have them real fluffy out flip-flop things. Um, I'm not a flip-flop wearer, but I understand it's a really fun thing. So, Does anybody have any questions about what we did?
hundreds. <laughs> Mommy's funny. If there are no questions, I do not have a video on them, Sandy, but um, maybe one day. I'm sure there's plenty of crafters out there that do. I'll look for one for you. So if I don't have any questions, um, thank you, Dawn. Thank you very much. If somebody will tell me when they hear me say, thank you for coming. I appreciate you coming to our show. Uh, Leslie Ray's Crafty Gig is on the 2nd and the 4th Friday of the month. Um, I will be on, of course, next, not next Friday, but the next. And we will be, um, I need to see if Bev is going to be able to come. Because if Bev is going to be able to come, I'm going to do some wire and beading kind of stuff. If Bev is not able to come, um, then I have another holiday project that I would like to share. So, yeah, Bev said she might not feel up to it today. So, that, that's another regular that that is not going to be able to make it. But I will know probably closer to time. Um, right now, if I do the wiring and the beading, there won't be a kit. It will just be informative. Um, if I do something else, paper crafty, I'll probably do a kit. Because uh, some of you enjoy getting the kits. Um, I believe there are still kits available in the store. Mommy, am I wrong? Were they like six fifty, and that included your shipping in the United States? Yes, six fifty includes shipping. So if you still want to get a kit and then do it now that you've seen that, uh, the kit does not include the paper packs a six by six paper pack like we were using and really we only used one two three four five maybe six sheets of paper out of it and the whole paper pack has 36 sheets of paper so you could technically you could make six of these for Christmas for holidays and the six by six pad seems like it was I'm thinking eight ninety nine maybe. Oh, it's six, six dollars really. So for twelve fifty. Well, I, your shipping may go up a little bit with this. You could have some really, you know, six gifts. Well, not six gifts because you'd have to have six kits, but you could have a lot of gifts. And this is fun paper. So I am going to. Stop record, and if anybody wants to stay and ask more questions, I will be available to do so. So, thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you next time on Leslie Ray's Crafty Gig. Good night.